words that no privacy advocate or American wants to hear is cashless society. This is not good. And we're going to break down options, whether it's crypto, probably not going to work out. Gold and silver, precious metals, doesn't look promising. Is it different apps? Like what technology are we going to use for the new cashless society? We're going to break all this down step by step. Buckle up. Let's get an operation cashless society and hopefully anti. Now there are a lot of different things going on. You've got one of my favorite entrepreneurs, Elon Musk, talking about Neuralink and as impressive as I think that is, I would never do anything like that personally. You've got people talking about inserting chips in your hand, mark of the beast in the Bible. I, I don't know. So it's gotten really crazy. Crypto, a lot of people are saying crypto, of course, is going to crash soon. Bitcoin, there's a good chance it's going to crash. I don't know. I have no idea whether it's going to crash, and neither do you. There's a lot of people who get real defensive when people talk about crypto crash. Guys, if you look at the charts, it goes up and down all the time. It, it crashes and rises all the time. It's bull market, bear market. This is nothing new. And when people get defensive over crashes, it's... A sign of immaturity. I've seen that a lot when I make videos. People are like, oh, Bitcoin's going to go to a million. No, it's not. I bought Bitcoin for a few thousand just uh, just last, less than a year ago. Less than a year ago, Bitcoin was a, it was like five, six thousand bucks, four thousand bucks. And now it's, you know, beyond record. It's over doubled record highs. And eventually it'll take another big drop down because when people have made enough money, they'll pull a bunch of money out. Bitcoin will drop. Then it'll probably rise again. Then it'll drop. The problem with cryptocurrencies is they're not stable enough. There's a ton of cryptocurrencies on the market, endless supply, but they're not stable enough to replace cash. And so let's break down a few options here of what could actually replace cash and where are things going? Because the reality is right now we have our monetary system here in the United States and worldwide, whether you're Canada, whether you're UK, Germany, France, Australia, it doesn't matter where you are. You could be in you know, Africa or Asia, you have a monetary system. And some systems are better than others. Some are stronger than others, but a lot of people don't have faith in the dollar for good reason. There's not a lot of good reasons to have faith in the dollar. The way we print it, like it's going out of style, the way we inject it into banks in the form of trillions of dollars. It has no gold standard. It has no real intrinsic value other than we all pretend like, okay, cool, I'll accept that. But the faith is very rocky, very shaky. Now, one of the best options is something that has tangible value like gold. You look at the prices of gold, you look at the tangible value, you look at silver, the price of silver. Silver is probably one of the most undervalued assets on the market today, other precious metals. The problem is going from cash to gold and silver makes things worse in a lot of ways. A, an ounce of gold is just too expensive per ounce. And so to break that up into tiny pieces is ridiculous. What are we gonna do, be at the counter just counting out little gold flakes? That's not gonna work. So we can make coins, well that's a full 360, we already did that. And same thing with silver. And then the other thing is, well what about gold deposits? Well having, having a cash society that has a gold standard would be a great thing, but I don't think we're gonna go there. I think we've already passed that. So I don't think gold and silver are gonna be a monetary standard again in the future. In America, I, I just don't see it. I'm a huge proponent of gold and silver. I think it's one of the best investments you can make because you have something real, especially if you have physical gold and silver, which is the only way to invest. But the reality is, I don't see these markets regressing back to gold and silver, something that we left in the 70s. So we never should have done that, but we did. So what are other options? Well, we've got a lot of technology options. There's a lot of companies like Stripe and a lot of companies like Square and apps that are out there and they're looking to clean up and they want a cashless society because it benefits them. It allows to give digital products, you know, a, a product that people can have and tie into their ecosystem. You look at big tech, it is all about ecosystems nowadays. That's what everyone wants. They want the ecosystem. They want you to tie in Google and Amazon and Apple and, you know, Microsoft, all these companies want you to tie everything into a nice little box. Facebook, they own, you know, WhatsApp, Instagram, uh, you know, they own Oculus and they want you to sign in with your Facebook. They want you to tie everything together. 
And the problem we have with deplatforming, what if we had a Facebook crypto and people got deplatformed off Facebook? You lose what? Your monetary, your, your, your access to communication, your access to your money, your access to everything. Like it's, it's insane. So first of all, we need to compartmentalize, which anybody in the privacy knows the best thing you can do is compartmentalize. Never have, never use one service for more than one thing. I never do. And I don't recommend you do either. The next thing is, you know, looking at crypto is crypto is right now probably the most likely option. Now the blockchain has a lot of legs and the blockchain has a lot of possibilities, but the problem is there's no cryptocurrency that would work for a monetary standard right now. Things like Bitcoin are way too volatile. All cryptocurrencies are way too volatile. And you look at something like Zcash, right? It wants to be the cash standard. The problem is these, the crypto market can be, I mean, it is unfortunate the way the government manipulates cash, but the crypto market can be manipulated 10x more than the cash markets. And this is a problem. And so the average person is not going to be able to deal with the fluctuations. You need more stability, even though cash is not stable. And you look at inflation, inflation is nothing compared to waking up and your money lost 80% or your money law gained 300%. That's never happened in cash right in our, in my lifetime. Whereas you know, and I'm talking in America, I know in other countries have experienced hyperinflation and these things, but in America, not so much, not in my lifetime and not any time in, in recent history, have we dealt with anything remotely like that. And crypto is too manipulated and too controlled by big investments. So it's really not going to work. You look at something like Monero, which is one of my favorite, and it's got the privacy standards, but again, as a cash replacement, I don't think we're going to replace cash as soon as a lot of people think, because we don't have an option right now. Crypto is not going to cut it. And for crypto to replace cash, most big cryptos have to fail. Bitcoin would most likely have to fail. Ethereum, a lot of these coins, we would need a coin to rise up that actually has the properties of cash as opposed to a coin that can rise up that has the properties of an investment. The thing with most cryptocurrencies is they're not good for currency. That's the irony. They're good for investments. They're good for potentially making money. They're good projects that can solve solutions. If you haven't checked out the video I did yesterday where I talk about five cryptos that I recommend you invest in and actually solving problems with crypto. I'll leave that here in the cards, but those are the things you want to want to look at. So we don't really have a cash substitution. And I'm glad as a poker player and as a person who likes cash and the anonymity, but even if we had digital products, there are options. Now the know your customer laws and the Patriot act have made this much tougher, but even outside of privacy and anonymity, we have the issue of control. The one thing they can't do with cash is control it. They can, can manipulate it, but they can't control it. If we have a digital currency of any kind, whether it's crypto or something else, you know, the SEC is already talking about regulating crypto and they've already put the screws to companies like XRP and Ripple and other companies. And if they do this, crypto is going to fall apart. And I talked about this. And I know, again, a lot of people get offensive and I really don't care if you like it or not. Bitcoin and all these other coins are going to crash if the SEC comes in. Because it's going to take all the appeal out of these markets. No, these big investors are not going to be in this wild west market as soon as the government dips their greedy hands in there. And everyone knows it. It's a fact. It's happened from market to market to market. It happened with the dot coms. It happened with startups. It always happens. Whenever the government puts too big of a hand on there, the big money moves. And when the big money moves, the little guy is going to be left holding the bag. And that's you. And that's me. Me and you, we can't compete with these billion and trillion dollar investors. I know you think you can. I know you think Bitcoin's going to go to the moon. And again, I've said, I could see a hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin and I can see $5,000 Bitcoin tomorrow because it only takes a couple of people deciding to pull out and people throwing shade at Bitcoin and it's going to crash just like it did in 2017. Everyone in 2017 said Bitcoin's going to go to a million and a billion and a trillion. And it went down to a couple thousand bucks. Okay. And it's because it pivoted and the big investors decided Bitcoin's no longer worth it and they toppled the market like that. You can see the spikes and that, that can happen again. And all it takes is the SEC or even, you know, people deciding they're going to move to a different technology. So crypto is too volatile. So a cashless society, you look at how they're doing it in other countries, China and these other countries are trying to go, you know, cashless. They're trying to have social credit scores. They're trying to really control the people. The great thing in America, we have freedom right now. Although freedom's been under attack for a while with all the deplatforming, with all the, uh, you know, social justice and all the weird things that are happening. So really figuring out your plan and your strategy in a cashless society, in my opinion, is really important. Gold and silver are going to be a haven for a lot of people. And I think big picture gold and silver are going to spike because that's where people are going to run because it's the last thing that the government can never control and will always have value in, in the foreseeable future. 
whereas cryptocurrencies can be can be uh, manipulated a lot easier because they can reach in and just take it where they can't do that with physical products in nearly the way they can with digital they could create something like they did before people turn in their gold and so it's never going to happen nobody's i mean if you're dumb enough to do that then good for you but the reality is it's never going to happen same reason we don't have gun laws in this country which is you we have actually have a second amendment of freedom because they can say turn in your guns and patriots will just call to arms right it's just what's going to happen so that's the reason these things aren't going to go this direction and the, the government has tried for years and they've made zero progress i think they've banned like bump stocks and a clip oh congratulations it's because people are like no f you try it try it try it that's what the patriots will say same thing with gold and silver with cash they can basically get rid of cash if they want to and with crypto they can make crypto worthless i don't think they will i think crypto has a bright future in some regards some coins most coins are going to fail but i think some coins have a bright future what do you think do you think there's going to be a cash society anytime soon i don't see a cash society for at least another 10 years and that's when they get a product that could actually start and then once it starts it's going to take a decade or two to implement so I mean, in my lifetime, I don't think we're going to have much of a cashless society, but maybe, maybe it'll move a little bit quicker. You never know. I mean, you think about it, Bitcoin is already pushing, what, a dozen, 13, 14 years, you know, and they, so it's been a while just to get to this point and we're still in the infancy. A lot of people, oh, technology moves fast. Yeah, it really doesn't. I mean, we've been talking about flying cars and AI for decades and, you know, people said we'd have all this crazy technology by 2010, by 2020, by 2025, and all 3D printings are going to be, 3D printers are going to print all the products in your home by 2020. 3D printers don't print much. I have, uh, what, 9, 10, 11, 11 of them, and you can print some cool stuff, but the average person doesn't even have a 3D printer. AI is nowhere near being able to impact your daily life. Nowhere near. Self-driving cars, all they do is crash. Like, it's ridiculous. We're nowhere near, let alone the laws. And so... Well, I have a bright, uh, a bright outlook on technology in the future. I don't have this optimism that we're going to do everything in three or four years. But I don't know. You let me know what you think. Do you think there's going to be a cash society? What do you think we're going to go to? Do you think Bitcoin's going to be the standard? I mean, it really can't, but I know people think that. Uh, and, and I know why people think that, because they want it to be their thing. Because if it's their thing, it makes them rich. But the problem is, it's not how it works. We saw what happened with, with uh, Wall Street bets. So many people lost money in that because... Um, people were buying at three, four hundred, and it was stupid. I couldn't believe people were, you know, and then it tanked, and then you see a bunch of people left holding the bag. People were holding the bag in the beginning and the end, right? You got the, we're in the age of the pump and dump, and Bitcoin, there's a good chance Bitcoin could be another pump and dump. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, put out new videos here on Privacy X every single day, talking about how to be a ghost in a digital world, how to disappear in plain sight, how to have privacy, anonymity, in your business, create a ghost business, a ghost life, but still enjoy what you do. Have an amazing day, guys. Take action. Go all in and everything you do every single day. I'll see you guys tomorrow.